Hey folks, Matt from writeoftheimage.com. We have Gerald writing in on the email. He says, hey Matt, greetings from Guyana. Hey, greetings. I would like to be there where you are right now because I'm sure it's warm in Guyana right now. And right now it's like minus 10 Celsius outside here. It's been snowing and icy. So I would gladly be there sitting with you, having a coffee, chatting about your question. <laughs> I currently have a Nikon D3200 with the 35 F1.8G and 50 mil F1.8G, which I use to do some weddings and portrait work. I'm planning to upgrade soon. Should I go for the D7200 or a used 610 or 750? Thank you. Well, thanks for your question, Gerald. Interesting question. Definitely all three of those cameras will be a significant upgrade for you from your 3200. The 610 and the 750 even more so. Um, the 750 and the 7200 have comparable autofocus systems, top of the line from Nikon. 610, not quite as good, but still very good. And I've often said I'd be very happy shooting with a 610, pair of 610s actually for weddings and event work, um, and a 24 to 120 and an 85 F1.8. I would love that um, as a 610 setup if I was going back into doing event work and weddings. That said, um, your 35 and your 50, your 50 will work on the full frame. Your 35, if that's the DX35, isn't going to. So you're going to have to upgrade that lens. And you're also probably not going to be as happy with your 50 on full frame in the sense of that 50 gives you a field of view of a 75, which is very close to an 85 millimeter portrait lens, the traditional portrait lens length, on the 7200 or your 3200 or any of the DX crop sensor bodies. You go to the 610 or the 750, it's going to be a 50. It's going to be, in my opinion, a little short. I love the 50s on crop sensors. I like an 85 on a full frame. So if I was going with 610 or a 750, I would get exactly what I said, the 85 F1.8G, beautiful lens, very sharp, great performing, great value. And I would also get the 24 to 120 F4 VR. I would actually get that one first. I would get the 24 to 120 first because I could make do with it until I had the funds if I was on a budget to get the, to add the 85 F18G to it. You could also get the older 85 F18D, although I do think that the G has enough advancements and is a nicer enough lens that I would probably spend the extra money on it. Now, um, price-wise, you could probably get a 610 used for close to a 7200. Um and I guess the question becomes, um, what reasons do you want to go full frame? Um, you're going to get better high ISO ability by about two stops on either of the 610 or the 750. You are going to get the ability to get shallower depth of field on any given lens. In other words, the same lens on the crop sensor 7200 is going to have a less shallow depth of field then if you have that same lens on the 610 or the 750, you'll be able to get an even shallower depth of field, more blown out backgrounds. Um, and those are the reasons most people like that. And then also, you don't have to do any mental calculations. Most people, especially if they've shot 35 millimeter film in the past, like a full frame camera just because it is what it is. It's full frame. So a 50 is a 50, an 85 is an 85, a 70 to 200. There's no crop factor applications. There's no math to be done. So me... I, if money wasn't an object, I'd get the 750, the 24 to 120 f4 VR, the new one, the newest one, not the variable aperture one before that because it wasn't very good. It was very well known. I had one that was soft on one side of the frame, and that was a known flaw with that lens. But the new one's great. And I would get the 85 f18G. If you wanted to throw in a long zoom on there, I would get the 70 to 300 uh, VR. Very nice lens, very good performing for the, for the money. And that's the route I would go. If you still want to stay full frame and go to a budget, uh, and, and you're on a budget, then definitely the used D610 would be the way to go and still a very good setup. And if you're not sure you need to go full frame and you think you might want to stay DX and save even more money, the 7200, I'd be perfectly fine shooting events and weddings with a pair of 7200s. But, um, you know, all else being equal, the full frames are nicer. And I, and I would prefer that. Um, and if I had the, if, if you've got the budget for it, definitely go with the 750. If your budget's a little tight, the 610's a very, very nice camera. You can always upgrade later too. What do you guys think? Do you agree with me? Do you agree with the advice I'd given here? What would you do? Would you go 7200? Would you go 610? Would you go 750? What lenses would you pair with them? Let's help out Gerald. Leave your comments below. Always great to hear your feedback and see what you guys have to say helping out our viewers when they're writing in with a question. Thanks for tuning in. Thanks again, Gerald, for your question. Stay tuned. We'll be back soon here at rtheimage.com.